Ladies and gentlemen, what is going on? And welcome to the first ever Three Minute Thursday. Guys, just a little disclaimer here. These Three Minute Thursdays are probably not going to be three minutes long. They probably will be longer, but we're just doing it for the name because it sounds cool. So, let's get it. Alrighty guys, so a couple videos back, I got this comment, I'll put it on the screen somewhere right here, and it basically was just saying that he got an extra check from work and he wanted to know what fishing gear to spend it on. So today, this 3 Minute Thursday is going to be about what I like to throw, springtime bass fishing edition. Remember, if you want me to do more of these 3 Minute Thursdays in the future, make sure you like this video, drop a comment down below letting me know if you like it or not, because otherwise I have no way of knowing. So make sure you guys like and comment on this video, this way I can see if you guys like the 3 Minute Thursdays. Alrighty guys, now let's get into the video. My favorite fishing gear to use, Springtime Edition. Let's do it! Alrighty guys, so as you can see right here, first up I'm going to start with my combos. This is my Lose Mach 2 combo. I got this for Christmas. This is my most recent addition to my rod and reel arsenal. I actually have a review on this puppy. I'll link that down in the description below if you want to go check that out. This is an awesome rod and I definitely really enjoy using it. For just some quick statistics on this thing, the rod is a 7 foot medium heavy fast action. And for the reel, you got a 10 bearing system with a 7 5 to 1 gear ratio. So this thing is hauling in baits really, really quick. I also just have a green and black rod glove on here from the rodglove.com. My next combo, this is a 7 2 medium heavy fast action favorite defender rod. I absolutely love this rod. It's very versatile and great for throwing a lot of different things. Now coming down to the reel, I have my Abu Garcia Revo SX. This is another 10 bearing system with a 7 3 to 1 gear ratio. So just a little bit slower than the Lose Mach 2. Alrighty guys, now this is my third bait casting combo. Uh, I'm actually borrowing this one from my dad at the moment, but this is the Abu Garcia ambassador rod it is a 6.6 medium heavy rod and coming down to the reel here we have a pinnacle vision slider this thing has a six bearing system and a seven zero to one gear ratio all right guys now coming over to my spinning combo this is the abu garcia vengeance this thing is a 6.6 medium rod coming down to the reel here this thing has a five one to one gear ratio Alrighty guys, now obviously money doesn't grow on trees, so I've accumulated all these rods over a big span of time for like birthday presents and Christmas gifts, but if I had to pick one rod that I would really recommend, it is the Favorite Defender. Because the Favorite Defender rod is so versatile for a lot of different things, and in my case, I paired it with the Abu Garcia Revo SX, and it's just a really, really nice combo. It's good for throwing basically anything you want, so that's why I recommend that rod and reel combo the most. Alrighty guys, enough talking about rods and reels, let's get on to the lures. Alrighty guys, now the first lure that I recommend that you guys pick up, or lures really, is some soft plastics. Now I choose to use real bass and soft plastics. They work super well for me and I absolutely love the guys working at the company. Now I would not endorse a product unless I really believe in it. And if you want to see us catch some fish on these products, go ahead and check out my last video. I'll link that in the description as well. Real bass and baits are very well shaped and very durable. Two things to look for when you're looking for a good, reliable soft plastic. If you guys want to get some of these baits for 10% off, you can use my code WCCFISH10. I'll put it right there on the screen. And this will get you 10% off Real Bassin's entire website. So you guys can go check out some of these baits. They're really awesome. Alright guys, the next lure I recommend you guys to pick up for the springtime is some spinner baits. 
I like to stick to black and white spinner baits because when one doesn't work, the other seems to work. Black and white seem to be very good mediating colors for fishing. You can always sort of switch back and forth to see what the fish are looking for on that day. Spinner baits are super useful because you can work them in really any area of the water column, depending on how fast you're reeling. In the springtime, I like to keep spinner baits moving very slow and I like to keep them very low, just atop the weeds or just barely in the weeds. Spinner baits are fairly weedless because of the spinner bar and these things are super useful in the early spring and they really get it done. Alrighty guys, the next baits that I recommend that you guys pick up is crankbaits. Now there's two different kinds of crankbaits. There's square bill crankbaits, which is what we'll start with. Square bill crankbaits have basically set depths, but they float, which makes it very useful to use in shallower areas. Catching fish on a square bill crankbait is so fun, and usually fish crush this thing so hard. Personally, this is the color that I recommend. It's a chartreuse, and it also has a red dash and a black dot. But the chartreuse really works well basically any time of year, and I really, really love using square bill crankbaits. Now, the next type of crankbait, as you can see here, is a lipless crankbait. Now, I'm sure you guys have heard it already, but lipless crankbaits, they have a lot of noise. They rattle and they have a very tight wobble. Two big things that early spring bass are looking for. This is in the red craw color and it's a rattle trap. This thing is absolutely awesome to use. But one thing to keep in mind is lipless crankbaits sink unlike square bills. So unfortunately you have to work these guys in much deeper water otherwise you're going to catch all the weeds. Alrighty guys, the next bait that I recommend that you pick up is a nice little chatter bait. This thing so far has been crushing the early spring bass and pickerel this year. I've had a pickerel follow this thing all the way up to my feet and this thing puts off a ton of vibration. I just added a little Real Bassin Magic Color Beaver to this crankbait and it adds a very natural action and a very natural color to this bait. This bait absolutely kills the early spring bass, especially because of how much vibration it puts off. Alrighty guys, remember if you like this first three minute Thursday, Make sure you leave a like and leave a comment down below letting me know what you thought of it. I hope you guys enjoyed, and I'll catch you in the next one. See ya!